Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna and this is my wonderful cousin Michelle in case you guys haven't met her before. I don't think that you have. In case you haven't met me before, I'm Donna. Um, nice to meet you guys. Today we are giving Michelle here a little bit of a um, less intense look. So her makeup looks usually consist of blues and purples and they're dark and ominous. And she likes wearing black lipstick with it, and she works in a pharmacy. <laughs> so we're going to try and give her something a little more, um, you know, fun, and maybe even summery, even though it's almost over, and light. And then it'll be time for my Halloween looks. So. Yes. Well, this will, that's okay. This will go with a Halloween look, because it's nice and it's orangey, yeah. right? Um, so we did this look on Michelle. I hope you guys want to stick around and watch it. And if you do, it's coming right up. Show me your eyes. Show me, show me your eyes. Ooh. Look at how pretty. <laughs> I love you so much. Stool. She's blind as a bat without her glasses on, so the the video is kind of funny. And you will love that it cut out on us quite a few times. So at the end of it, I didn't even know it cut out, so I just kind of go through with you guys what I used on her face at the end because we didn't realize the video had stopped. Nope. So well, I couldn't see anything. So She couldn't see, and I was too busy. And I'm really proud of the work that I did because this is the only the fourth time I've ever applied makeup on somebody besides myself. So I, I'm, I'm really proud of my work. So here is the meat of the video, as Hannah Louise Poston would say. Enjoy. <laughs> it's okay. You can talk. So what this does, the um, MAC... Um, paint pot is lays down a really nice base for your eyeshadows to adhere to. Uh, they stay on longer when they have like some kind of primer. Do you usually use a primer? No. Okay. <laughs> I can send you home with one. Because eyeshadows tend to stay better if they have a primer to adhere to. And I just use this one, but I this... can't see that. Oh. Here. <laughs> okay. She's blind. She's blind without her glasses. I forgot. I saw the black lid. Okay. <laughs> it's just a paint pot, but you can use, like, they come in um, multiple, multiple forms. Not a paint pot, but, like, eye primers come in all kinds of forms. So, um, what I typically do when I get done laying down a paint pot is laying down just a, um, just a nice, like, transition shade to, um, make that, um, a little less tacky. So that the color adheres and blends a little bit easier. I typically go with a nice, like, flesh tone or a little bit darker. Here's I did a little bit darker. I do the base. Do ya? Yeah, I just don't part. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. All right. Your eyes are really. You have a lot. You have really big eyes, so it's. It's going to be awesome for me because I've never played with, like, big okay. eyes before. Like, because mine are small, you know? My lid space is not very big. I mine think quite large. I think we'll play with this. This palette, do you like these, these colors? From what I can see, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We are using the um, Makeup Revolution Division Reloaded Palette. And I told Michelle that if she liked what I did to her eyes, I would just give her the palette. See, I have a lot more space between, like, my eyebrow in my crease than you do, but you have a lot of lid space, so I'm super excited about that. Really weird. 
You're fine. When you do that, your eye actually scrunches. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I can work around whatever, Michelle. Poor thing. I'm like trying to open your eyes and I'm like, nope, here comes the brush. I'm not trying to. They're just okay, kind of open. doing it. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. They do their own things. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, open your eye. I just want to find your crease. So when you do crease work, my suggestion is to look at yourself in the mirror. I can or pretend as, as close as you can get to it. <gasps> so you want to like have your eye open and go into your crease with your eye open so that you can do crease work and it'll still show above where your crease is with your mm -hmm. eye open. I mean as close as you can get to your mirror. You know that I know that you're you know ninety percent hey, blind. I when, do my eyeliner. Okay. I know, and you do a really good job. And I don't even see it till it's done. <laughs> You're so funny. Am I, is there too much pressure no. on your eye? No. Okay. You're only like the third person's makeup that I've ever done. Maybe Zoe the fourth. Zoe Debbie. Zoe Debbie. I did um, makeup for a girl in that wanted me to do her makeup for a photo shoot. So I did it. And I just don't feel like I am good enough yet to do other people's makeup so I get really twisted about it especially if we're filming it you know mm -hmm. but well the wonderful thing about me is I literally can't see what you're doing so I know <laughs> if I post this everybody else can I guess if I post it it depends on um, what it looks like in the end right <laughs> Open your eye. Close a little bit. Look at your face. Look at your boobs. I know, right? <laughs> Is this stupid that I say that? I just think that it's amazing. Well, at least got the, the same big eyes. I know. You know, the perfect crease and the perfect shape. Uh, the only thing about your eyes is they kind of turn down a little bit at the corners, so I'm going to have to um, do some magic with... At least I don't sleep with them open anymore, okay? That's a thing. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, Lily does it. 
Oh, I did go into the Crown Fuego palette for the color that is on her lid, and it is um, this this color right here, which is kind of like a peachy color. I'm going to go back into that Makeup Revolution palette and take this color here and just kind of um, blend the peachy tone and this color into each other because it looks a little bit messy. Okay, now I'm going to go back in to that um, this yellow right here, which was the first one that we used, and just kind of blend that darker shade up into the brow bone. I'm going to go into, um, where are we? This yellow. And this is a Sydney Grace color, and it is called, um, I can't read it either. It's called Hercules. And it's kind of like a, um, orange toned, like, yellow gold color. I'm just going to take that kind of in the center of her eye out to the um, outer V. And then I am going to go in back into the Makeup Revolution palette and I am going to pull a little bit of this color and this color together right here so that we end up with a nice peachy tone that's a little bit dark and we're going to put it into this outer V here. So I'm just finishing up. I um, did put some eyeliner on her eyes, but I kind of messed it up on this eye. So I'm just kind of trying to fix it a little bit. Um, I don't really typically go into other people's eyeliner, but I thought I would for her. Percy keeps tickling my feet, so. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, we're going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette for some color to her cheeks so that she isn't as pasty white as she thinks she is. I'm going to go into this lightest shade here. Um, and like I was telling you before, you're just going to want to go in underneath your cheekbones, find that hollow, and just create a little bit more of a, like, you know, a shadow. Um, and then do the other side. Don't forget the other side. Okay. Um, I would also suggest you get like the top of your forehead if you're going to contour, but not so much the sides because you don't have a whole lot of room here. Because my in eyes your are temple. large. Because your eyes take up your whole forehead. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. So we're kind of replaying this because we've recorded this like eight times now. 
here's the, here's the deal. I use the shade and light on her for contour, and we talked a lot about how you needed to go into the hollows of your cheeks to create a little bit of a shadow and kind of blend up and really get like a thin brush to do it and along the top of her forehead because really she doesn't have a whole lot of room here and I will typically take my contour all the way up but she doesn't need to. So then I also went in with the um, Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. Just used a wet and wild tapered Mm, that's not a tapered. That's an angled. An angled brush. And hit the top of her cheekbones and then kind of drug it up. Again, not going into the temples of her cheeks because she doesn't... Or temples of her face because she doesn't have a whole lot of temple room. But making sure that we are hitting both sides of the face equally and getting the apples of her cheeks. She has really good bone structure, so I kind of love it. Um, and then as far as everything else goes, we just blend, blend, blend. Make sure that you blend it all together with a clean brush so that it all looks super even. The lipstick that she is wearing is this one. This is what's on her lips today. It is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Dallas. This is what it looks like, and it is just one of the little tiny guys. Show you, but yeah, it is in the color Dallas. It's kind of like a peachy orange color, and I just kind of put it on her lips. I was telling her that this really um, goes on like a matte liquid lipstick, but nicer because it's more easy to wear than, say, a liquid lipstick, and it gives it really gives you a nice color. I really like it on you. Uh, for eyeliner, we use the Ico, uh, liquid eyeliner pencil. This is a nice felt tip liner. She has never used liquid eyeliner before, so I thought I would go ahead and use something I've never used before and just give it to her. I feel like a felt tip liner too will, um, be easier for her to use because she is kind of blind as a bat without her glasses on. So she would be able to feel the tip on this a lot better than she might say a brush tip and it is waterproof so if her eyeballs water it shouldn't go anywhere that's good i did kind of screw it up on this end though it's more of a square so i just kind of made this side a little bit more of a square i think it really suits her face well because her eyes are kind of downturned but with that being a square on the end it kind of brings up her eye instead of a point um the uh, the mascara that we used is this nyx worth the hype it looks like this. Um, this is a mascara that I just kind of had in my stockpile. It wasn't even opened yet. I haven't even tried it, but it is a volumizing and lengthening mascara, which she doesn't actually need because these lashes on this girl are hers and hers alone. Close your eyes. Look at this lashes. Crazy. Um, makes me want to puke. <laughs> um, so the colors that we used on her eyes were from these two palettes. I did use the Makeup Revolution palette for the most part, but I also used the Crown Fuego palette. The color that I used on her eye in the Crown Fuego palette is this one right here, which is, there's no name on this palette, but it's kind of like a peachy um, with a yellow shift duochrome, really shimmery shimmer. Um, as far as the Makeup Division Reloaded palette, we use these two colors here an awful lot and these two colors here to create that. So the yellow, the mustard yellow, the kind of like burgundy color and the peach. Um, so yeah, that's, I also kind of pulled a yellow from a Sydney Grace single into her eye as well, but that was Hercules. That was Hercules by Sydney Grace. I'm not giving her that one, but I am giving her the rest. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Um, one for me and Michelle. Uh, don't forget that there is a giveaway going on on my channel as well. I will go ahead and link that video at the end of the, at the end of this video for you to go watch and enter. Uh, I hope that you also consider subscribing to my channel. I do upload content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or Sunday, depending on my work week. And I hope to see you guys in the comments section. Until next time. Have a great day. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay. For the 80th time, let's do an intro. At least okay. it's recording this time. It's a true story. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs>